John Bon Jovi, the iconic rock star and frontman of the legendary band Bon Jovi, leads a lifestyle that mirrors the success and passion he brings to his music. Known for his charismatic stage presence and powerful vocals, John Bon Jovi has not only dominated the music industry, but also ventured into acting and philanthropy. His full career has afforded him a lifestyle that reflects both luxury as well as family values, often appearing at events with his wife Dorothy, whom he married in 1989, and their four children. When it comes to his homes, Bon Jovi has lived in a handful of stunning and epic properties. One well-known mansion of his was located in Middletown, New Jersey, which boasted views of the Navasink River and 18,000 square feet of space inside. Then there's his home in Palm Beach, Florida, which he bought in 2020 for $43 million that's decked out with all the highest-end details throughout. We'll take a look at these Bon Jovi properties and more, so let's dive in. Born March 2nd, 1962 in Perth Amboy, New Jersey, John Bon Jovi, whose real name is John Francis Bon Jovi Jr., has achieved global fame and success while maintaining a reputation for his commitment to family, philanthropy, and a lavish yet tasteful lifestyle. His career afforded him a lifestyle that reflects both luxury and a down-to-earth attitude. Well, as we'll see in this video, Bon Jovi goes all out with his real estate, he's also invested in philanthropy over the years. The John Bon Bon Jovi's Soul Foundation, established in 2006, reflects his dedication to addressing issues like homelessness and poverty. His other charitable work has included supporting affordable housing initiatives, community restaurants, and more. John Bon Jovi also values family life, often seen attending events with his wife Dorothy Bon Jovi, whom he married in 1989, and their four children. Let's first take a look at John Bon Jovi's former home, a mega mansion in Middletown, New Jersey, often referred to as the Highlands House, which popped up for sale first in 2020. The rock star listed this epic estate for $20 million, and once you see it, you might understand why. Sitting on the exclusive Navasink River Road in the area of Monmouth County, Bon Jovi's property here spent a whopping 15 acres. Among all the top tier features, the property includes a private pub, a loft style music studio complete with seven double door garages below, a well equipped movie theater, and a heated pool surrounded by cedar cabanas. According to the listing agent Kathleen Kumu, this private property, which is approximately an hour from New York City, is renowned for its opulent residences set on expansive pieces of land. Many homes, including Mr. Bon Jovi's, feature private docks and boat lifts, adding to the allure of this secluded community. The Bon Jovi property has its own distinct architectural style, described as a rare French chateau style residence an uncommon sight in the Northeast. The residence boasts a blend of elegance, exclusivity, and architectural rarity in a region known for its upscale real estate offerings. Now for the basics. Bon Jovi's New Jersey home offers 18,000 square feet of space inside, along with six bedrooms, seven full bathrooms, and two half baths. If that's not enough, there's also a carriage house with three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, one partial bathroom, a living room, and a full kitchen. The 1999 stucco and limestone house was designed by famous architect Robert A.M. Stern, and considering that shows meticulous attention to detail. Interiors boast 12-foot ceilings, intricately painted woodwork, hand-painted Venetian plaster, parquet floors, French balconies, and tall and expansive mullioned windows. If that's not enough, the list goes on. You'll also find solid wood double doors at the entry, while the foyer has a custom circular staircase with a hand-forged wrought iron banister. The listing agent described the mansion as meticulously maintained as you can see the craftsmanship all of its interiors. The 50-foot-long living room features a grand fireplace and seamlessly connects to the bar, where there are sweeping river views, as well as a spacious French mirror reflecting the scenic waterway. John Bon Jovi's former home also has 750 feet of river frontage, which is responsible for those amazing panoramic views. Sitting on the Napsink River, which extends to the Atlantic Ocean, the property is surrounded by a vibrant display of boating and fishing activities, adding to the charm. The family room, characterized by beamed ceilings, built-in cabinets, and wide plank floors, enjoys full river views. The fireplace here doubles as an outdoor feature, complemented by a pergola and seating area for the best boat watching around. 
Over in the Rockstar Worthy kitchen, you'll find a handcrafted brick barreled ceiling with hand painted beams, alabaster counters, a sizable island, and an inviting breakfast room. Moving to the second floor, two wings offer separate spaces. One for the family, featuring four ensuite bedrooms, and the other, which you can access via separate entrance, catering to guests or staff with two bedrooms and a kitchen. Bon Jovi and his wife's former master suite is luxurious as they come. The space has a balcony overlooking the river, dual walk-in closets, a seating area, a private hallway, French pocket doors, and a convenient kitchenette. You know, just in case you're too lazy to head down to one of the other kitchens in the mansion. Not to mention there's an elevator in the home that services all three levels. Outdoor amenities include a double wide entrance driveway, brick courtyards, a spacious slate patio, stone walkways, and formal gardens alongside meticulously manicured lawns that lead down to the river. Described by Miss Kumu as a very, very private setting, the property is accessible through two driveways, which makes it feel even more exclusive. Of course, that's far from all you'll find on the grounds of Bon Jovi's mansion. There's a heated pool, various cabanas and a dock, separate music studio, a barn, and a three-car heated garage. Bon Jovi's at-home pub is known as the Shoe Inn. John Bon Jovi also held fundraisers for Democratic Party presidential candidates Al Gore in 2000, John Kerry in 2004, and Barack Obama in 2008 at this very mansion. So it has quite the history. Considering Bon Jovi is a native of the state, he's been very committed to New Jersey, and he has been through the years, which is seen in the philanthropic work he does for the area, especially for the students at Rutgers University. In recent years, Mr. Bon Jovi and his wife Dorothy have opened locations of JBJ's Soul Kitchens, a nonprofit restaurant that aims to fight hunger in the New Jersey communities of Tom's River and Red Bank. They recently opened a third location to address student hunger on the campus of Rutgers University, Newark. The same year that Bon Jovi put his mega New Jersey mansion up for sale, he also bought an equally lavish estate in Palm Beach, Florida. The singer and his family must must have decided they wanted a sunnier state to call home. So much that they dropped a whopping $43 million on this mega mansion. In fact, the same day as this transaction, he unloaded another Palm Beach area property for $20 million. So it's very clear he was upgrading. Built in 2007, the Mediterranean style home spans an impressive 10,232 square feet, equating to over $4,200 Per square foot. There are rich finishes, beautiful marble and hardwood floors, stunning lime cypress coffered ceilings, and intricate millwork throughout. Bon Jovi's Palm Beach mansion had been on the market since January asking $44.9 million according to listing materials. Inside the sprawling home boasts 7 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and shows the meticulous design by the acclaimed architect Thomas Kirchhoff, complemented by interiors crafted by David Kleinberg. The substantial price tag includes only the finest finishes and details as mentioned. Beyond the beds and the baths, Bon Jovi's mansion includes 5 powder rooms, a formal dining room offering views of both the ocean and courtyard, and a temperature controlled wine cellar, perfect for entertaining guests. Elsewhere, there's a home gym, elevators to get around the huge home, and a large three-car air-conditioned garage. Additional highlights in the Palm Beach abode include a large living room, a casual dining area, and a sprawling master bedroom suite with a sitting room, wall closets, and a private balcony. Moving to the exterior of the property, which is equally extravagant, there are two oceanfront lodges, a courtyard pool, and a cabana. Looks like plenty of space if Bon Jovi wants to give an impromptu concert, that's for sure. The entire estate provides direct access to the beach and offers sweeping ocean views. As we can see, John Bon Jovi's lifestyle is a blend of luxury, artistic expression, his family, his epic real estate choices reflect a balance between the grandeur of rock stardom and a desire for the meaningful, comfortable home life. Now before we go, answer this question for me. Which over the top feature of Bon Jovi's homes would you most like to have and why? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.
Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.